Okay, so the next tool that I love to use, it's quickly becoming my favorite Etsy research tool, to be honest, is Insight Factory. Again, I will leave a link to um, access your uh, free account with Insight Factory in the resources section of this video. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I use it to find the best selling and hottest products um, within Etsy at this time at this time. So it gives us up-to-date information about what is the best-selling product um, and what's trending this week. Okay. So once you sign up for Insight Factory, just go on over to your dashboard. So I'm just going to open up my dashboard now. And then once you're inside, what you want to do is you want to go to the trend section. Again, I'm going to be sharing with you all the um, tools that I use within Insight Factory. Obviously, there are way more tools in here that you can use to uh, research your products. Um, there are some fantastic ways to use Insight Factory. You can hook it up to your actual Etsy shop to find out what is um, what current products are recommended for for you specifically to sell as it relates to the niche that you sell on your Etsy shop. So yeah, it's really, really fantastic. Definitely something you want to dive into. But in this tutorial, I just want to make it as concise as possible um, and share with you exactly how I use it to find trending products um, for my Etsy shops. Okay, so I just want to share with you how I use this. Now, there is a couple of different ways that I like to use um, Insight Factory. The first way is to actually enter in my keyword phrase here. So in my case, I would be entering in nursery art prints, or you can go ahead and look at the broader term um, and see what's actually trending um, across all different niches. This is a great way to grab ideas if you are still, um, you know, not quite sure on the niche that you would like to sell in. This can actually help you um, to come up with different ideas on what might be popular within um, the broader niche of printables or printable wall art. Okay, so what you could do is you could scroll down to see where it says printable art. So you're going to get all the trending products as it relates to printable art in all the niches within printable art. You can also do this for posters or even best-selling digital products as well. So, for example, if you want to go to printable art and see all of the trending products within that um, broad niche, you can go ahead and do so like this. So it's going to give us all the trending search terms um, under printable art. So as you can see, it's going to give you a wide variety of different prints here. Um, uh, just always be wary of trademarks or copyright um, uh, products, you want to steer clear of those. I think this um, cause would be cause. I've never heard of that, but I'm assuming that that is um, a trademarked product. Again, this Christianity printable wall art is coming up quite a bit. Um, if we scroll down, so you're just going to uh, get a whole range of different um, you know, styles and niches that you could potentially um, get into. Um, but let's go ahead and do a niche specific product. So instead of printable art, let's go to nursery, um, nursery prints and go search and let's see what comes up there. And then we can dive deeper into the actual um, analytics and information about those products. The great thing about Insight Factory is it actually gives you specific keyword phrases that people are searching for and then it's going to give you data based on those keywords so again you want to take note of those keywords because these are the keywords that you're going to be using within your Etsy listings to get them found okay so make sure you, you take note of those okay so we can see here the very first one nursery downloaded print so for this keyword we've got some hot sales signals this week we've got 50 listings on the first page had sales today and we've got only a competition of uh, 2000 which is really really good um, we've got uh, nursery print out nursery print mock-ups not so much what we need here uh, print out for nursery. So these, so perhaps you might be thinking, okay, people are going to be searching for nursery wall art, but maybe people are searching for print out for nursery. All right. So this is giving us some great ideas on the keywords that we can use. So if we go up to the top one here, let's go ahead and on over to details to find out a little bit more information about this certain keyword, what type of products are being sold um, and so on and so forth. This is a great way also to get a little bit of information about the actual product. And also you can deep dive into the uh, store as well. OK, let that information populate. I use Insight Factory for a lot of the details of my products um, as I list them to Etsy. Um, so 
yeah, definitely um, a tool worth having, okay, because you can get um, the best-selling tags for the keyword, you can generate a title, generate description, as you can see right here. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll on down. What I like to do is I like to filter it by how many uh, sales I've had in a seven-day period. So if you click on that, it's going to give you the, the least. And then if we click it again, it's going to give you the most. So here we can see, um, I think this is a physical product. So we don't want that. So let's look at some digital products here. So just today, um, sorry, in this past seven days, we've had 26 sales of uh, this current product here. It also gives you all of the, uh, the, the tags and it's also highlighted um, the keywords that I actually um, added into my keyword phrase here. So um, nursery, nursery prints, I think I put in. So nursery prints, nursery prints, you can see them used within the tags here. Okay, so we know that this has had some high volume of sales in the last seven days. Obviously, this is a trending product. So let's go ahead and open up that um, that listing. Let's have a deep dive into what, it, you know, what's happening within this listing, why it might be, um, you know, a trending product. Okay. So we can see here, the first thing that I noticed when I have a look at this listing is that Etsy is recording this as a bestseller. So it's saying here, this item has had a high sales volume over the past six months. And if we go back to Allura, just, sorry, Insight Factory, just quickly, let's go ahead and check to see when this was actually listed so the release date here so this was only listed in may of this year so you know only about you know six or so months ago which is quite impressive right it's a fairly new product so you know that it's trending um, and you know that people are searching for this style product so let's go back to etsy so the things you want to take note of is what kind of style of product is this you can see here it's a realistic watercolor style of safari animals. So you want to take note of these things. So when you go to creating your products, you're looking at like what kind of artistic style is being used. Um, you know, um, how is it displayed? You can see here this is a set of six posters, not just one. So perhaps having six of them, you know, is more appealing. It's like in a bundle. Um, how is it being laid out? on the actual um, print itself, what do the mock-ups look like, what description are they using. So, you know, you want to take note of all of that information. You just want to collect as much information as possible so that when you dive into creating, you're not just going in blind, you know exactly what you're going to do, you know where you're going to get your inspiration from, um, and you know that if you are basing your designs on these sort of products, these trending products, you know that they're going to get sales, and that's what we want. We don't want to waste our time creating things that aren't going to sell okay let's go back to um, insight factory and see what else is available here so again we've got like another bundled up here so let's go ahead and have a look at that so we've got here the sue art print studio i believe that that was actually one of the shops that i was looking into yes we can see here so that was one of the shops that um, i found previously using allura so we've got 2,346 sales again. So you would just have a look um, over their products, see what kind of style they have, what kind of products they have, um, how are they bundling it up? A lot of these are sets of three. So that's something you want to take note of. Again, so what I would do is I would take that information, copy it, go ahead on over to Allura, paste that into the shop analyzer, and then go ahead and download the CSV to grab that information and then add it to our master list. Okay. So I was deep diving into Insight Factory and I also found uh, this listing here. And when we open up this listing, we can get a little bit more information about the product and also deep dive into the shop. So here is a set of woodland animals, uh, prints for a nursery. We can say, see here it's a best-selling item. And now if we go to this shop, I just wanted to dive deeper into this shop. I thought it was quite interesting. Um, so you can see here we've got 65,000 sales in this shop um, and yeah you can see there's a lot of uh, nursery prints or, or children's artwork included in this shop so I was interested to find out what their best selling items are in um, uh, specifically for this shop so I'm going to add this also to my uh, spreadsheet along with a few others so I'm going to go ahead and copy this and then we're going to go into um, 
to Allura, where I've already pasted it into the Shop Analyzer tool. And um, I thought what was really interesting and wanted to, what I wanted to highlight about this shop is that you can see here they've made over $1.7 million in revenue um, from this shop, which is quite um, quite impressive, right? Um, so uh, it's really just about deep diving into all of these shops. It kind of takes you on, like you go into one keyword research, you try a different keyword, you know, and it just takes you down this rabbit hole. I've been doing this for a couple of minutes now and I just keep finding some more impressive results and some more impressive shops where I can collect even more data from. So I'm just going to go ahead and export this data and then import it into my spreadsheet. So I'll just share that with you in just a moment. Go to my master list. I've added a couple more um, items here. So I've got like thousands of items here now in this uh, spreadsheet. I'm going to go to file, uh, import, upload, import the data into a new spreadsheet, open. I'm going to copy that data. Command C, let's go back to our master list. Scroll all the way to the bottom. As you can see, I've imported a whole range of different products in here from different shops. Uh, Prince Factory is quite a popular one. They've got thousands of listings. As you can see here, some of them and you know don't sell a lot of, but they can. Uh, so we want to go to the bottom here. I'm going to go Command V on that. Paste that in. Again, we want to just delete this row here. Delete row. And then scroll all the way to the top again. Scroll, 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 scroll all the way to the top so that we can filter this by monthly sales. Z to A. Fantastic. So now we can see that at the top here, within the top 10, a couple of these prints have now made it to our top of the list. So if we go, um, let's just open this up a bit. Let's go to this link. So the uh, Safari Nursery and go to copy link. And we're going to paste this in here. And now we can see more information about this product specifically and then perhaps we can um, mimic and design our products around um, this product listing itself. Okay, so we want to use this as inspiration. So that's how we take information from Allura. We can take information from Insight Factory and we can combine the two to create this master list, this spreadsheet that we'll be using over and over again within our Etsy journey and uh, for our Etsy shop. This is going to help us create products that are not only trending, but are also currently selling. And also we can use this information to confidently create best-selling items to help us get the best possible result from the creations that we make because we don't want to be creating products that people aren't going to be buying. We want to be creating products that people are searching for, that people are purchasing. That way we have the uh, the best chance of success in our Etsy shop. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you take these lessons and use these tools to create your own master list of products that you could potentially um, create yourself. Um, and then hopefully set you up for success for the rest of this Etsy journey. Okay, I will catch you in the next video.